Okay, so I'm doing some repairs to the crown. I thought this would be a great time to show everybody how the crown works. Uh, I've had many requests for this, so here you go. Uh, it's much simpler than it looks. Um, and in fact, I built this in just a few hours right before Edwardian Ball, Los Angeles, a few years ago. I just needed something to wear, so I came up with this. Um, the bottom is acrylic that I heated up and just literally wrapped around my head, so it's a custom fit to my head. Everything else is styrene. Um, again, heated up and formed into the shapes I needed. And it's, it's as far as how it walks, it's very simple. The prongs here, 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 and here are actually just stationary. Only four of them move. So these four here. So all it is is they can move. Oh, let me turn it. They can move this way. And then they can also rotate this way. Now when you combine those two movements, you get this. So twisting and leaning, which I'm not really demonstrating that well, but. So just side to side and left and right like that. So there's just a little tiny motor right there. It has a crank arm, which is removed right now. That's the part I'm fixing. And that crank just rotates through this hole. And that creates the motion that sends these four on this kind of elliptical path. So once you flip it over and it does that, it just walks along, which I probably won't be able to show you without the motor working. But uh, I'll get it fixed and I'll show you how that goes. So here it is all set. I did want to point out a couple things. Um, well, there's the crank arm I just fixed. It's not painted yet, so it's still a gray PVC. Um, also, right there is the mercury switch that tells the motor to turn on when you flip this thing upside down. So here we go.